Hey everybody, The here. Uh, as you can see, the computer in front of me is a Power Mac G3. Originally, I was going to do some different sort of videos on this, but, uh, yeah, those were cancelled in favor of what's going to happen now. Uh, what's going to happen now is, uh, this computer is completely screwy. Uh, 99% of the time it doesn't boot correctly, uh, the hard drive is probably failing, and it's just got so many weird things that I can't really pinpoint. Uh, so I'm going to test the power supply. Um, I'm going to test it, and then I'm going to actually fall and replace it and see if that fixes it. Uh, if that doesn't fix it, honestly, it's got to be something else. I just got to find out what. So, uh, let me get started by plugging this into some power, and uh, I'll find my multimeter and we'll get started. Alright, so I've got the power supply power plugged in, and uh, currently I have my uh, multimeter leads plugged into the I think 12 volt uh, so when I power this on I should hopefully get some 12 volt uh, reading coming in here let's go ahead and test that uh, power button okay so this is 5 volts it's a near perfect 5 volts okay so let's go ahead and test the 12 volt line okay so we get negative 12 because I have the laser first but it's pretty much exactly 12 volts so yeah not no conclusive results there at all uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a new power supply try this again okay so I've got the new power supply in place this is uh, just a compact power supply out of an HP uh, desktop similar to those over there uh, I got already the probes plugged in just to make sure that the voltages are a little quite close. The uh, reason I chose this power supply is because I, one, had it laying around, and to two, it has the right angle connectors, as you can see, connected to the hard drive there. So let's go ahead and give this a power on. So we got exactly 12 volts. I've got the monitor connected there, so hopefully get something on the monitor. We got no power on. Power on noise at all. And it looks like we're going to get no on screen either, so... That pretty much concludes the fact that... It's not so much the power supply at all, as it is something else on the board. And uh, boy, let me tell you, attempting to locate the source of a fault on a board like this, probably going to be pretty hard. Uh, I could measure points around the board. I think that's might what might what I might try. Uh, but yeah. This ain't yielding any good results. Let me get back to the old power supply now. So wouldn't you know what luck at the draw, it actually booted this time. Uh, it's probably going to kernel panic because this hard drive is completely buggered. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, it just goes to show you the absolute randomness of this board. Uh, this computer, yeah, there you go, kernel panicked. But, uh, as I was saying, this computer is just absolutely the most fucked up thing ever um usually i don't swear but i mean seriously this thing is just so ridiculous um it's really really a challenge to even use this thing um trying to think a little bit of what i want to do because now this is booted uh, next time I try and reboot it, it's probably not going to do anything. Um, so, trying to think of what I can do while this is working. Uh, to maybe try and get it working again. I think what I could do is I, I'm going to go find my, my uh, iMac CD or whatever. And try and boot off of that. 
Hopefully that'll work. Uh, I think I'm gonna go get my one of my Mac keyboards and try that. Be right back. Okay, so I've got a Mac keyboard plugged in, and I have the a uh, Mac OS X 10.3 CD in the drive. Uh, so now when I press this reset button, it's gonna fail to boot, um, and I won't be able to do anything from there. So let's go ahead, press this reset button. All right, I gotta hold C and hope to God it boots up. Usually, uh, these two lights here, yep, they came on, so we're getting a positive boot. Holding C, and it booted off of the hard drive. God, that is so annoying. All right, well, I'll be back uh, after I reset this again. Well, even I'll just do it here. Uh, I might be wrong in pressing that button on the board, but I think it is reset. So I don't think I really need to worry about it. Holding down the C key. And just booting off the hard drive again. Boy, that's frustrating. Be back in a second. Okay, so... I thought it would be a good idea to uh, boot off of the OSX install CD through the open firmware instead of holding down C. Uh, so I did boot CD-ROM in the open firmware and I get the big X or the big cross or whatever. Uh, I don't know what that's about or why it's really doing that. Uh, I don't, really should be able to boot off of the CD. Um, maybe I'll see if I could pass it a verbose option. Or, in fact, I'll just Google it. So I'll be back in a Another few minutes. <laughs> oh, I really wish I could decipher this thing's problems. Okay, so some Googling later and no real useful info on why it's doing that. But I did discover one little tidbit of information that probably may or may not be helping with my issues. Uh, the button closest to the PRAM battery, or where the PRAM battery would be, is the QDAR reset button. Um... And according to Apple support forums, the QDAR reset button forces the Mac to rediscover its hardware. Uh, so I really don't want to be doing that every time. I really should be using the actual reset button. So I will do that. And uh, according to them as well, holding down the option key will force boot into Mac OS 9. So I'm going to do that and see if it boots into OS 9. Anything would be an improvement right now. Yeah, no. Still booting into OS X. It's so annoying. Alright. Eject. <sighs> so I have it booting in verbose mode. Maybe this will give me a little bit more of a... an idea. Okay, there was the panic. This is... Kernel loadable modules in backtrace with dependencies, com.apple.driver.applescreamer.audio. So I'm going to go ahead and Google that. Okay, so I have a couple new leads to go on. Um, can I either try to start it up in single user mode or force a uh, file system check? Uh, to be honest, I was looking to get a file system check by booting off of the CD. So, let's see if doing a file system check here will help. Uh, it said on the forum to hold down the shift key, which will force a system check uh, through OS X when it boots up. So hopefully that'll do it. And I won't be I won't be in verbose, so I can't actually verify that it's doing that. But hopefully that'll do it. It does seem like I should have panicked by now, so I think we're 
doing good things here. Still going, got plenty of CPU access and disk access. Still no kernel panic on screen yet. Definitely does seem to be doing a file system check. I'll be back when this panics or finishes. So it's been probably six minutes now. And so they're still doing the checks or it's hitting a shitload of errors it's fixing. Problem. Okay. Uh, what? You don't make this shit up. <laughs> what? Was that like hitting a bad sector? Or what was that? That scared the shit out of me. Wow. And it's just gonna keep going. Oh, I did I did put this uh, Molex fan here to cool off the CPU a little bit while it's uh, doing all this shit. Yeah, it's still going. I almost wanna leave the camera on. In fact, I will put it right here. Actually, no, I won't, that's a horrible idea. Oh, it did again. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep my hands off it. Not really sure where I can put the camera here. Yeah, it's just gonna keep going. I guess I'll just hold it. It must be hitting bad sectors, I swear I'm not touching this. In addition, a swirly thingy has come up on the, uh, on the screen now, indicating that it's probably booting. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this fan now. I'm not sure what this thing's problem is. I mean, it's completely obvious that this hard drive is completely fucked, but still. I've never had it act up this bad.
I doubt we're gonna boot after that. Yeah, it rebooted. Uh, so this is gonna do one of two things now. This is either gonna kernel panic, or... Uh, something else. It's probably gonna not boot, uh, because it failed to do a correct seek test on that latest go around, so I'm gonna have to shut it off and shut it back up because we're gonna get the uh, Mac folder not found thing. Yeah, Mac folder not found. Alright, shutting it down. Okay, there we go. Correct seek test. Let's hope she boots up. It might have uh, shut down plainly to the fact that it just didn't see the hard drive anymore. It recovered after the first couple of times, but after that last one it was just like, nope. We do have a swirly, but I'm not holding out much hope of it really booting. Yeah, it kernel panic. So I'm going to go ahead and force another file system check. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to eject this CD. Okay, so, should be doing a file system check. Injecting this annoying CD. Okay. Hopefully we should be checking the file system again. Just so we're clear, both of my grubby little hands are not even touching this thing.
So it's been going for a while now, and it hasn't had any of that weirdness I had last time yet. Cross the fingers. Wow, it's booting into safe mode. Proof is in the pudding, people. Safe boot. All right, let me turn this monitor a little more. Yeah, a bunch of junk. Oh, well. Let's see if I can't get it a little bit out of the way. All right. Yeah, desktop icons and everything, so it must have had a little bit of file system corruption, I guess. I wonder why. All right, so. Yeah, working perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and... Restart, see if we can't get this to boot in normal mode. I'll be back in a minute. Booting up in normal mode. What? Okay, uh, so there's probably, I don't know, some weirdness. Have to force it to boot into safe mode again. Alright, so we're here in safe mode again. I'm gonna do me some exploration of the system folder here, see if I can see anything erroneous. Uh, maybe do a little bit of checking of audio related things. Uh, because that's what's appearing in the Coronal Panic. We'll see. So, just for shits and giggles, I didn't think it would really work, and it might not. But I did a permissions repair on the drive. Uh, and I actually found quite a bit of stuff, and a lot of it is related to audio, which was uh, mentioned in the Coronal Panic. Uh, they might be completely unrelated, but, uh, yeah, it's worth, uh, taking a look at anyway. Uh, one other thing I would like to do before I get out of here is, uh, take a look at the, uh, what do you call it, the, the panic log. See if that has any clues for me. Uh, what are the things I really don't know how to do is uh, get hidden files, and apparently that wasn't it. Command H does not do it. Uh, here we are. Uh, yeah, so system, library, but I know there's more than that in there. Uh, well, show view options. Uh, let's see. No. Alright, well. I'll look for some stuff. Okay, so I've done a little bit of friggin' around, and I think I'm confident that if I restart, I'll get nowhere. So let's go ahead and restart. You know, cross the fingers that it will actually boot up into OS X normally this time. In fact, I'll just go ahead and wait for it. Not really holding out much hope that this will actually boot normally, but hey, worth a shot. Yeah, I didn't think so. Let's get back into safe mode. Okay, so it's the next day, and after some sleep and finally figuring out what was wrong here, figured out that the disk I was using didn't actually burn the install files to the disk, it burned the .toast file to the disk. Uh, and those who aren't familiar, a .toast file is essentially the equivalent of an .iso on Windows. Uh, so, yeah, it wasn't going to be able to use that. So now that I have the correct files in place, uh, we can actually get on to starting the installation process, hopefully. So I'm going to go ahead and restart this. Hold down the C key. Once you reboot, hopefully we can install this bitch. Yeah, right. I just as soon as just as soon reinstall uh, OS X and deal with the stupid kernel panicking. It's not like there was a ton on there that I'm really worried about anyway. I got C held down. I don't hear any hard drive access, so I think we're planning on booting off the CD.
think that's the CD. I'll be back when it boots or kernel panics. It's not the CD that's booting. God, so frustrating. Okay, so I got tired of dealing with the annoying Maxter hard drive. So, I ripped it out. Uh, drilled out the incredibly stripped screw that was right there. So a little bit of it left, which secures it rather nicely, actually. Uh, and I put in an 18 gig Hitachi Desk Star. Or no, not Hitachi, IBM. Uh, let me go ahead and re-secure this GPU and we can get started. Just did a once over with the blower to make sure that there's no residual metal filings left. Uh, now let's go ahead and plug in the power. Hopefully we get a better result. Alright, I'll be back once we're booted into the install CD here. Alright, so here we are at the install screen. Uh, probably going to have to go into the disk utility. In fact, I probably should do that now. Just give it our format. really should be installing OS 9 on this as well, but I mean I could do that later, so I'm really not too concerned about it. Uh, I'm going to open up the disk utility right now, wipe this disk and give it a fresh HFS Plus, uh, an HFS Plus partition. It's going to take just a second to gather the disk info. There we are. This is my 16 gig IBM drive. So I'm just going to go ahead, this two partitions of equal size. Uh, both of these are extended journaled. So we'll call this We'll call this one Mac Mac HD. Oh no, that's not caps. I want caps HD nine. All right, and we'll call this other one Mac oh, caps lock, please. Mac H HD X. 10. Alright, so let's go ahead. We've got Mac OS 9 drivers. Go ahead and partition that up. Yep. Now I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure this drive is in good health. At least I hope it is. Uh, so there we go, we got our two partitions. Go ahead and quit the disk utility. Alright. Yep. Yep. I agree. So I want you to. You cannot install Mac OS X on this volume. You cannot start up your computer using this volume. But why? That's weird. I'll figure this All right, out. Alright, so we're finally installing. Just had to restart after uh, partitioning the disk. That was all. Uh, so we should be running along here smoothly. Okay, so the installation finished and we should be doing first boot into OS X here. Uh, 
it's just gonna go anyway? I don't get it. Uh, not totally. Not totally sure how this is working if there were errors installing it, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's not going to actually get an internet connection right here, but yeah, it's bizarre. Um, I'm not really sure what it failed on either. I was getting coffee while it failed. Yeah, I don't get about that Mac. It's dead anyway. Register later. Yeah, I live in New York. There we go. Yeah, it's uh what is the date? Uh it is four twenty nine PM Tuesday, May twenty fourth. So I'm horrible with this. Is that I think that's five That's five twenty-four. This is gonna be two thousand sixteen. It is four twenty-nine zero zero PM. It's actually far thirty now. Let's go with that. Save. All right, don't forget to register. All right. So yeah, I guess it is gonna work anyway. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, this is this is where I need to plug in an internet cable. So I'm gonna do some things. Uh, first of those being unmount this drive here. Don't need this drive mounted. Same with this, don't need that mounted. I'm gonna go ahead and get some software set up. All right, so it's a while later. Um, I'm probably gonna have to reburn my OS 10.3 install disk number two because it's completely destroyed. Uh, it's not even that scratched up and it really just won't even read from it. Um, that's why the installer keeps failing. Um, I restarted after another failed attempt at trying to do the 10.3.9 combined update, and now I get this. Yay! Okay, so I burned a new disc too. And wouldn't you know it, surprise surprise, it's gotten about halfway done so far. Uh, before it wouldn't even get a quarter of the way done. Before it would just be like, oh no, sorry, errors occurred. Errors occurred. Oh, Apple. Uh, I really don't understand why you have to do these things but it's in the past now so not really that much I can do about it uh, so uh, processing German right now so I'll be back on this finishes okay so done uh, requested disk 3 and it worked perfectly fine as long as as well as disk 2 so yeah should be good to go this time uh, last two installs were really quite buggy in a lot of respects, so hopefully this time it'll actually work. Alright, let me go ahead and get this all set up. It'll be good. Alright, so here we are at the desktop. Uh, get everything set up except for Mac OS 9. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and install the 10.3.9 update here. Uh, and just talk about a couple of other things that might be interesting. Um, firstly, this is my Mac workstation. And it needs to really function as such whether it's unreliable as hell or not. Um, this uh, this needs to have a faster processor. That's the first thing. Uh, and it's extremely hard to find some of the upgrades for uh, G3 processors that used to exist. 
Uh, there used to be a 1.1 gigahertz G3 processor available as a third party add-on. Uh, but you don't find those anymore, not even on eBay. Um, there's possible G4 upgrades that I could get. Um, this definitely needs a USB 2.0 controller add-in card. Uh, it would be quite useful for this to have Wi-Fi, maybe. Um, definitely a better sound card. Um, possibly a better graphics card. Uh, but it would have to be compatible with OS 9 at that rate, so I don't know. But um, Yeah, I mean the hard drive size is fine. It's 20 gigs, sure, tiny. But I can always put in a secondary hard drive of some description that adds more storage. Um, in addition to that, I mean, there's really not a ton more. Uh, you might be looking at me kind of crazily like, what are you talking about, Mac Workstation? This is a computer from 1999. Why would you use it as a workstation? And I'll give you that it is old and it is slow. It uses SD RAM. There's not much. You can only get like a gig into the thing. But you know what? I don't really care, honestly. At the end of the day, it's nice to have a working Mac workstation that isn't a G5. Uh, the reason I don't even want to use the G5, yeah, it has two uh, processors. 1.8 gigahertz G5s, but it doesn't have any support for OS 9. And that's where my gripe lies, honestly. I need that support. So, yeah. Uh, in a minute here, I'm going to get the 10.3.9 update installed. Hopefully it'll actually work this time, unlike every other time in history. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back when that's done. Maybe go over some eBay things so we can find some interesting stuff. So, finished installing the 10.3.9 update. Whoa! Booting in safe mode? What? No way, that's crazy! Okay, so, did a permission repair, like I did last time. Found some things, but not really a ton. Yeah, um... I remember seeing online one time that, uh... Apple HFS Plus partitions are really, really good at screwing themselves up by themselves, without the help of the user. I have to a hundred percent agree. Honestly, you shouldn't even need a utility to repair partition uh, permissions like this does. It's insane. I don't want to shut down. I want to restart. Be back on this obviously kernel panics. Or, well, you know what, I'll stick around, because I gotta put this in verbose mode, and we wanna see verbose mode. Alright, verbose. It's gonna crash right here, guarantee. Oh. Welcome to Macintosh. Well, would you look at that? I guess the safe mode boot and uh, permission repair did the trick. Huh. So. That just totally proves right there it wasn't something that's unrecoverable like the other one was. Probably was recoverable, I just wasn't doing the right things. But, uh, that Mac OS just screwed itself up again. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna do some other things now. So this section of the video is recorded quite a while after the original part was recorded. As you can see, I have the Power Mac G3 under the desk here. Uh, you may be wondering... Why do you have it under there? I thought it was an unreliable piece of crap. Well, uh, turns out it's decided to behave. Um, so let's get right into it here. Power on. 
Got speakers hooked up to it. These creative uh, speakers here. Now the ones that are on the floor. Haven't bothered to put it up there. IBM drive still works awesome. And uh, it now dual boots well between uh, OS X and OS 9. Um, for whatever reason, every once in a while, the installation forces me to do a permissions repair. I don't know. It's bizarre. This computer does still run quite slowly, unfortunately. This camera is still being stupid, unfortunately. I'd like to get a 350 megahertz processor for this, but... Yeah, I don't know. I hope it did freeze and make a fool out of me. I think it's frozen. So this is actually the first startup. Uh, that was actually the second startup, and... Um, you know, for whatever reason, uh, time has reversed itself, so this is actually the first startup. There were no errors in the first startup. Um, yeah, trust me. You guys can trust me. <laughs> so, here we are at the OS 10.3.9 desktop. Got a couple things on here, such as my Camino, my Clasilla, and I have to use this weird mouse pad because laser mice don't like to work on my table. I don't know why. Uh, CPU monitor, my Bay CPU monitor, and, uh... Yeah, so that part works flawlessly. Now, if we do a startup disk, go ahead and select our startup disk as Mac OS 9.2. Go ahead and give it a restart. And you'll see that OS 9.2.2 boots up nicely as well. And here we are, beginning the boot of Mac OS 9.2.2. I have a lot of extensions on this thing already, and I don't really have that much software in here. I'll have to check how much disk space I'm using. It always see it always adjusts the resolution like that once we get into OS 9 here. It's kind of bizarre. This is a uh, 1440 by 900 monitor, which apparently can be overdriven to 1600 by 900, and it looks a little bizarre, but it actually works, which is very very interesting. Well, I don't know why that just opened, but yeah, you can see here we are in a uh, Mac OS 9, and everything works perfectly fine. So. Uh, that should be an adequate wrap up to our video here. Uh, thank you for watching. Gotta empty this trash real quick. Go ahead and give her a shutdown. Thank you guys for watching. Let's shut down. Uh, and just talk about a couple of other things that might be interesting. Um, uh, firstly, this is my Linux workstation. Um, 